to work through the sneaker project directions. First thing I'm going to do is find a picture. I could also use my blank sneaker right here. Once I open it up, and there's multiple ways to do this. Once I open it up, I can download it. I can then, once it's open, I could move it to my desktop so that I can find it much easier. And now it'll show up on my desktop as blank sneaker. I could also make a new tab and just Google um, Nike sneaker outline and find an image this way as well in case I wanted to use a different type of shoe. I then can simply, so this one is gonna show up with no sort of background. So I'm gonna go to this one instead. And again, I can just drag that. I'd probably wanna give it a different na name. So I'll just rename it. Once I have some sort of image on my um, desktop, I am going to start by opening up Photoshop. I can click the magnifying glass or I can also go to um, command space and I'm going to type in photo and I can see Photoshop opens up. I have already logged in so it will log me in automatically. Make sure that you are pressing continue with Google. If you need to um, log into Photoshop, you can also see the directions for how to log in to Google from the intro. Um, I have some screenshots in here of directions for how to log in. And you can see um, the directions right here as well. Although it's taking my images a minute to load, you can press continue with Google. So now that I'm in here, I am going to just click open. I'm not necessarily gonna create a new one um, I just want to open up that image, which will make it my background layer. So I'm on my desktop and I can see I'm going to use this blank sneaker and press open. It will then size um, it to whatever the size of the template I needed. If I want to zoom in, I can change my numbers down here in the bottom. Um, so I am ready to work with this picture. I am going to make this a Disney themed shoe. So I'm going to search, oh, I searched Disney Plus. I'm going to search Disney. So maybe I'll start with just Mickey, actually. I'll leave the Disney and I'll put, see what pops up. So I'm going to use this Disney right here. So I'm going to click it, make sure it shows up on the right so it's nice and big. Then I'm gonna have both screens up and just simply drag it over here. My favorite shortcut is Command T and I can resize Disney. I'm gonna put the Disney, let's see where it would be best. I'm gonna put it right here in the shoe because I think that will show it the best or maybe the check mark. No, I'll do the, the toe. So you can see the background layer is locked. I want to move the background layer up, but it's locked. So I'm going to double click on it so I can rename it. I'm just going to rename it shoe. You can rename it anything you'd like though. Now that it's named, it's now unlocked. I'm going to bring it up higher. It looks like Disney disappeared, but I know it is just behind my shoe. If I click the eye and hide my shoe, I can see it there. We are going to now use the magic wand tool. If you ever can't find a tool, you're going to use the search right here and you could search magic wand. Once you have your magic wand, you must be clicked on the shoe layer. If you're not, um, this won't work. And I'm going to pick, I'm going to take the toe part out. You can see it is selected and it's kind of had that movement to it. I'm just gonna press delete and I can now see Disney show right up. I wanna move Disney. If I click right now, I still have the magic wand tool. So I'm gonna go up 
to my move tool or my cursor and I still have this wavy line in here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press command D to deselect. I can now click back on Disney and I can move it around. One thing that would, um, I can show you is when you're moving stuff around, you can just click on the picture. If you go up higher, so let me press command T so you, I can actually show you what I mean. Once I go higher and again, after pressing command T, you can see that now I can angle. So if I wanted to change it in my shoe, I can, and again, I can press Command T, make it smaller, and I can really fit, you know, the Disney in there exactly how I'd like. Once I'm happy with it, I'm all set. So let's move it over there. I can see the toes, not totally there. One of the things with this is you can put another picture right here, but keep in mind that Disney is this larger box. So it's gonna be hard to put another picture right here. I recommend putting some space in between the pictures, or if you did wanna put a picture right next to it, you can use the erase tool. So here's how to get solid colors. I'm gonna go back to the magic wand tool. It is not going to work because I am not on the correct layer. So I'm gonna press Command D to deselect back to the shoe. And I'm going to click the section I want. And instead of delete this time, I'm gonna go right down here to this circle. They have different patterns. Um, they actually don't have that many patterns. So I could always um, import a different pattern if I wanted to. Um, I could also go to gradient and I can pick some gradient colors. This gray and white means it's actually not gonna go to a solid color. It would just go into um, uh, whatever the background is. So I'm gonna pick this right here. As you can see, it popped up in the background and press okay. This is how you can change that. So then I'm gonna want, and you can see it pop up right here. I want another um, picture in, so I'm gonna go back, and this time I will search uh, Mickey Mouse. I'm gonna get an image. First, let me decide where the Mickey, I'll put, um, I'll put Mickey on the heel over here. So I'll put him like this. And there is that picture. I'm going to drag it on. And again, to resize, Command T. I'm gonna get it roughly the size that I want. And then I'm going to put the shoe layer up higher and let's see what comes through. So again, I'm selected on the shoe layer. I'm selected on my magic wand tool. I'm going to click and delete to deselect Command D. I'm gonna to go to my move tool. So it's a lot of clicking back and forth and there's multiple other ways you could do this as well. So um, one of my examples I wanted to show you was where I made a Spider-Man shoe so actually before I move on, I'm gonna save this. So I go to file, click save. I recommend saving on your computer and you can pick um, you know, whatever name works for you and then always make sure to save. I'm gonna go back to the home so I can show what you do if sneakers overlap. So here is my Spider-Man sneaker. And when I was working on this, um, let me show you so you can't see the shoe anymore. You can see that there was part of the, again, let me zoom in. There was part of the this picture that overlapped with Marvel. So all I did was go, and it was actually popping out right here. All I did was erase and um, then it no longer overlapped. If you wanted to put a picture in right behind the marble, you can see that when I get rid of the shoe, that marble is actually a really big image. So what I could do 
if I wanted to, I could drop the marble down lower and then I could erase um, as I go through. Again, you can change the eraser up here, but I could, oh, the reason why it did not erase, so I'm gonna press Command Z, is because I was not clicked on the marble layer. And then I could erase. Now you can see I'm erasing part of the check mark, so that wasn't correct. Now to do this better, I would wanna change um, uh, how opaque the picture is, and then I could actually make marvel into the shape of the check. There are so many different ways to do this project with the erase tool, with the uh, magic wand tool, so you get to be as creative as you would like. Uh, let me know if you have any questions.